Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. This is about uh, waking up, being wide awake, and and about the desire to take drugs, which is the exact opposite. And it's going to be short and sweet, I hope. So, in our souls, we have this desire to wake up, right? This great desire, this great longing to know God. But there's something going on in the human body and the physical form that's the exact opposite of that. Uh, the desire to fall asleep. The desire not to know God. The desire to, to like loaf along with the physical body and enjoy just physical senses and just revel in physical sensations and not even care about anything but that. It's a falling asleep into the body that happens when we wake, wake up in physical form. You know, it takes a, uh, a, f a few years, right, for the soul to fully, uh, like, find itself in physical form in the new baby that's born. Uh, the soul is watching over the physical form inside the mother and cherishing and nourishing and, and blessing it. And the same for the first few years of life. And then there comes a time when the physical form is developed enough for the soul to slip into it, for the awareness to be there inside the body. And at that point, as I understand it, I've read this from others, and at that point, a forgetting happens. A forgetting. Within a few years, within about two years, at the age of four, the forgetting starts. And that forgetting is an identification with physical sensation in this body, okay? Um, so, so there we are, having forgotten at the age of, let's say, 12, and from then on, uh, and, and reveling in newfound sensations of sexuality, which further pull us into the illusion, right? And... Uh, and as we go along, we're tempted with the notion, having already fallen asleep, of further sleep. And that takes the form of what we call drugs. They come in so many forms today. And the, um, there are drugs that are legal and drugs that are not legal. But every decision to take a drug is a decision to fall asleep into the physical form, forgetting about spirit, forgetting about the soul, forgetting about soul mission here. Every decision to take a drug is the decision to fall asleep, to fall into the great warm bath of the unconscious thought cloud of the world and not to awaken. Every decision to take a drug is a decision to allow our souls to devolve rather than to evolve. So the choice is that we have here on earth are very stark. We can choose in small steps every day and every moment to evolve our souls towards understanding of God, or we can choose to devolve our souls away from understanding of spirit and God. Now, what is soul devolution compared to soul evolution? Here's what I feel, and you can decide on your own. I feel that soul evolution is to find within physical form uh, awareness of every cell of all of our DNA of all of our subtle bodies and our physical body of the divine nature of what we are okay we incorporate God awareness and God realization 
appear in physical form. Then as we pass on, it may take many lifetimes, then as we pass on there comes the time when all that we are as human form unites with God, Source, the One, consciously unites. That's soul evolution into the pure awareness that we are a God. Yes? And what is soul devolution? I feel soul devolution is to a decision to lose our quotient of light, slowly diminish our quotient of light and of love, and to turn towards hatred and uh, the lower astral realms where the, you know, the great gnarly bad <laughs> entities are. It's a, it's, a, it's a decision to go with that energy of those beings rather than the energy of the angelic world. And, and those beings are far lower in light quotient than, than the angelic world. So we're deci we've decided to wick out the light of spirit until there comes a time when quantum physics takes over and the process becomes irreversible. As far as I know, there are two main factors on Earth for this, uh, for this irreversible thing to happen. One is to take drugs, to decide over and over again the course of one's lifetime to take drugs. That then changes the nature of the physical body and the, all the other bodies, all the subtle bodies. And in the, in the astral plane, it causes uh, a turning of the, of the quarks towards hatred, towards being consumed by the, the demonic realm, towards offering the light to them so that they can survive because otherwise they have no other way. They are made of hate and they take our, our light of love from us and turn our quarks slightly to hate. Okay? Till a point where there is no going back. And when, when there is no going back for our body of light, what happens is um, we disappear completely from the universe as individual beings, as souls, as spirit. But we become one with some portion of the universe. For instance, on the astral plane, uh, those parts of us that were astral matter continue as astral matter, but not in the form of an individual awareness anymore. That part stays. In the physical realm, as you know, nothing remains. Uh, in the body of light, that body of light wicks out. Um, uh, and so, whatever energy that remains to us as dark souls joins all the energy of God, of Source, and of the One, but not in an aware state. Now, some are choosing that right now, and I have to say uh, that I appreciate, I'm deeply grateful to them for agreeing to partici participate in the duality experiment and for being willing to carry the most extreme uh, understanding and experience of duality uh, in their many lifetimes and through their many lifetime choices. I'm very grateful to them for adding to the understanding of the Star Library at Alpha Centauri and again in the Pleiades and again on Sirius. I'm just 
uh, overawed at their courage in in participating in this experiment. I wish them well in their transition. Godspeed to God for no matter whether we arise in greatest glory to awareness of our God nature or whether we sink in terror and confusion to an understanding that our ego and our individual nature no longer will exist. We are still God. All it is is God. And free will has been fulfilled. We have done what we set out to do. So, God bless you all. God bless you all in freedom of choice. <laughs>